What's up guys? JK's Kitchen is back! If you want to learn how to make this bootable meal prep along with this ginger lemon detox shot, just keep watching. Preheat the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit and preheat the skillet over medium high heat. Grab one large sweet potato and one red onion. Then peel and cut them. Toss the sweet potato and onions in a baking pan and line it with whatever you have on hand. I'm using aluminum foil but you can use parchment paper. Add 1 tablespoon of oil and season with salt and pepper. Then mix it all together. Bake until tender or depending on your oven, bake around 20 to 25 minutes. The reason why I made this meal prep is because I started my first day of work this week and I wanted to bring my own lunch so I found this recipe and it was just so good that I wanted to share it. Literally, I'm telling you now. <laughs> While that's baking, we will move on to the skillet. But first, we will season the chicken with half a teaspoon of both garlic powder and ginger powder. Then add salt and pepper to your liking. This recipe will make four containers, but I only needed two, and one of them is for Christian's lunch. Cook until it's golden and no longer pink in the middle. It says to cook around 8 minutes per side, but it took me longer than that so it depends on your stove. Just make sure to check your chicken temperature so that it reads 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it's cooked, let it rest on the plate for 10 minutes, then you're ready to slice it. Your sweet potatoes and onions should be ready before you cut the chicken. In a small bowl, whisk together one garlic clove and mince it, two tablespoons of peanut butter, one fourth cup of lime juice, and one tablespoon of soy sauce and honey. Mix all that together and whisk in 1 tablespoon of sesame oil and olive oil until it's smooth. Divide the rice among four bowls. Again, I made four bowls on Sunday because I tried one of them just to try it. And must I say again that it's amazing. I only had enough for Monday through Wednesday. So now I'm only making Thursday and Friday's lunch and two dinners. I've already ate one of them and then the other extra is for Christian. It's so good, literally. Thank you. 
top each container with the sweet potato mixture, chicken, and I put the avocado, baby spinach, and the dressing to the side or in a different container. Then you can sprinkle cilantro and sesame seeds if you want. I did it on my first plate and it was really good, but I ran out of cilantro and sesame seeds so I didn't do it for all the other bowls. <laughs> This is literally how much I wanted to share this recipe because it's that delicious. So you guys need to make it because it's so easy. Next, we will make a ginger lemon detox shot. Grab two lemons, cut them in half, and squeeze the heck out of it. It should come out to a half a cup. Grab a knob of ginger and peel and cut the ginger in smaller chunks. There's different ways you can change the heat of this shot. Apparently, I like mine with a medium heat. After chopping the ginger into chunks, press each chunk through the garlic press and put both juice and the pulp from the garlic press into the blender. You'll need at least 2 ounces of this. Blend it in the blender really fast, then add the lemon juice and if you want to boost up your drink like how they say it in Jamba Juice, you can add a pinch of cayenne and 2 tablespoons of coconut water. Blend it all together and strain your drink into a small jar. There's going to be pulp left over on the strainer so make sure you push the pulp against the screen with the back of the spoon to squeeze out as much liquid as possible. And voila! You made a ginger lemon shot. I drink it at least one ounce a day in the morning before drinking or eating anything else. And be sure to drink it all at once. I use a straw and try to avoid getting the lemon on my teeth since lemon can wear away your enamel. This is literally my new coffee and there's better benefits like supporting muscles, assist digestion, helps with nausea, is an anti-inflammatory, cleanses, detox, and provides antioxidants, and many more. This is the only thing I look forward to before my long drive. If you don't like ginger or lemon, there's different detox shots out there. If you want to see more, definitely let me know in the comments. I would love to try different detox as well. If you want to see more, definitely let me know in the comments down below. And thanks for watching today's video. Let me know if you did try making these recipes. And if there's something you want me to try making, then let me know in the comments or even message me if you'd like. And if you aren't already, subscribe to see more videos. Until next time, bye!